All right, dad. Fucking asshole, gym junkie Norman. I knew you were on drugs. Now, I'm gonna use all of my pent up anger and emotions to beat the fuck out of your Pokemon. What the fuck? What? Holy shit. If you subscribe to this channel, you can help me get my hair back. What the? <laughs> what happened? First and foremost, we have to talk about the fact that we lost Fluffy. Two levels away from being a Shogun. Two levels away from being a goddamn Shogun. More than halfway there to the journey to be the Salamance. You have to fuck that up. Let me walk you through the narrative. Let me walk you through what was going on. I was getting greedy, because literally in my mind, all I was thinking was, Fluffy's strong, but the issue is your stats weren't keeping up anymore. So there I am. I'm inspecting the rest of the team. Mon, got a Moonstone, leveled up. Kind of a behemoth in terms of stats now. Kind of an absolute behemoth. Uh, you know, just looking real great. Of course we have Canopy, who is by far one of the strongest Pokemon I've ever done a Nuzlocke with, at least especially on stream. Canopy might unironically be the strongest mon we've ever had on this stream. Already 100 health, I've pumped calciums into it. I've, I've pumped uh, attack boosters. Canopy is absolutely a fucking powerhouse. I mean, 87 attack and 56 defense with bulk up. <laughs> it's ridiculous. If, if there's anything physical, Canopy is absolutely fucking it in the ass. I mean, and David's just saw 83 defense. David has more defense than his health. I just was greedy and I was like, listen, all I gotta do is make the push to level 30 because Fluffy's still a little bit weak, but two more levels, two levels away, we get a Shogun. That's an immediate snap boost and Fluffy becomes probably one of the strongest members on the team. We're gonna get Shogun, immediate stat boost. We have another absolute fundamental tower cornerstone piece of the franchise on the team. We have another superstar player on the roster and I fucked it up. I pushed the kid too young. I made him play too many games in his rookie season. He broke his ankles and then broke the fuck out of the rest of his leg. I failed him as a coach. It's a painful loss. It's a painful, painful loss. Ugh. Replacing Fluffy? Replacing, not really. Just filling the team slot of Fluffy is turn around the level 13 Totodile. As I imagine, getting a for alligator uh, is going to be very nice. And, you know, we needed some water type. You know, water type fills nicely with the team. And then we got a fire type in one pump chump, the Charizard. I did not off camera train. Here's why. Here's why. I like the idea of having to make turn round prove himself by surviving as a weakling and getting some hard fought levels early on. I feel then turn round will earn his place on the team. You're having a picnic in the desert? What a fucking... Who has a picnic in the desert? Like, imagine I bring out a tuna sandwich and I go to eat it. And it's 75% sand. What the fuck? Are you joking? Why the fuck are you having a... Why, though? GG. Thanks for the money. Fun <laughs> fundraiser Haiti. <laughs> I said thanks for the money and then took money from a kid doing a fundraiser. You're actually kidding me. It's actually a joke. <laughs> I straight up said thanks for the money and she was doing a fucking fundraiser. <laughs> I love that. I actually love to see that. Fuck him. Fuck him. She's doing a fundraiser while having a picnic in the fucking desert. She's dumb as fuck. Spawn camper Drew wants a piece of this uh, crew. Oh, ooh, you love the bars. You love the bars. I know you do. I know you do. Spawn camper Drew wants a piece of this crew, motherfucker. David, a good choice here. I don't know if David was good. Substitute. Sand attack. Just imagine that you have a substitute and you swap back in just to throw sand in my eye and then you swap back out with the substitute. Doesn't that look stupid? Literally tag team with a substitute just to throw sand in my eye. Bro, he's David. He knows how to aim. Okay. Never mind. Ah, oh, there we go. See, exactly what I said. David is an absolute veteran. We know David is a veteran. We literally know this. David is a man of war. He has killed 13.7 men out in the field. He knows how to aim 
an AK-47 with sand in his eye. Literally throwing sand in his eyes doesn't work. He still knows how to hit shots. Look at this. Ugh, David. David is built different. He has seen a war. Unlike other Pokemon who get sand in the eyes, they're like, oh, fuck. They don't know how to hit anything. You know what David does? He rubs his fucking eyes and still aims and fucks you with his AR. David knows what the fuck is up. I said all of that about David being able to, uh, you know, not care about sand attack. And now he hasn't hit one thing in like four moves. And the rollout's going to get stronger and stronger. And uh, this is going to be a problem. David, David, please. Oh, David. <laughs> David, you're making me a little nervous. Making me a little nervous, David. This rollout's getting a little big, David. David, you got crit. <laughs> <laughs> that was painful. That hurt me. Don't do it to effeminate. Don't do it to effeminate. You can't do it to me twice. Not to roll out twice, please. For the love of God. Oh, God. <laughs> no. Oh, God. I'll pay for the fundraiser. I'll pay for it. I'll fund it myself. I'm rich. Please. Please, I'll fund it myself. Just don't kill me, feminine. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Becky. Fuck your fundraiser. And then I, I flip the table and all her fucking, like, cookies covered in sand go everywhere. Fuck you, Becky. I gotta go fucking put David in a grave. Do you know how many soldiers David has put in a grave? Do you know how many men's funerals he's attended? Hundreds. Thousands, even. David was a good man. And you killed him with your fucking rollout crit? Fuck you. David deserved better. David was better. Even in death, David is better. Ah, David. Not David. Of all mons to lose, that one hurts extremely bad. Go beat the shit out of my mean ass dad, the guy that I absolutely despise. My dad's literally an asshole. Fuck that guy. That doesn't like his kids so much that he left his wife and kid to live in a different town. Edelberg, please. Thank you, Briny. I got uh, a lesson to teach my dad. And then he goes, oh, really lost. And then completely fucking ignores me. I tell him this really, really long, heartfelt story about me feeling crushed that my dad never loved me and feeling abandoned when he uh, left to Pedalberg. And not one time did this old man acknowledge it. He just sat there. I don't, I don't think he was even listening. He might've just been talking to his bird the whole time. I don't know, but I don't think he really understood uh, the part where I confessed real desire to murder my father. He kind of just didn't acknowledge it. I felt like, you know, that was probably a important part to touch on, but he just didn't. A uh, little weird. Oh, there we go. All right, we're leading Canopy for this fight. All right, Dad. Fucking asshole, Jim Junkie Norman. I knew you were on drugs. I knew you got kicked out and Mom kicked you out. And she didn't act you didn't actually leave us. I knew it. Now, I'm going to use all of my pent-up anger and emotions to beat the fuck out of your Pokemon. Me and Canopy? Oh. Oh, a swagger. <laughs> Good thing I'm only using bulk up. Me and Canopy, Dad? We're going to fucking obliterate your team. Steel Wing, look at how much that does. I'm double bulked up, baby. And you put a swagger on me. A third bulk up. It's over for you, dad. It's over for you, dad. I've had this in my back pocket, dad. Me and Canopy, your team's over. It's done, bucko. They're gonna die their final deaths. I'm sending them not to the grave, not to a cemetery, to the fucking disposal. You're dying, motherfucker. Canopy, come on. Come on, Canopy. This is for us. Yes. Yes. Fuck it. We're going to use the dire hit on Canopy. It in power. I should absolutely tank this. Yeah. Even super effective. It didn't even do like, I don't think 10 damage to me. Come on. You got, you, you can't be confused anymore, Canopy. You can't be. It's been like 19 turns now. Come on. Oh my God. You're still confused. Do it. Oh my. Oh. Oh, 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 canopy. <laughs> I'm playing with soup, uh, just absolute fire right now. Me and Canopy have set out to roll you, Dad. Pori gone to mother. Oh, a Charizard. You think a Charizard's gonna do shit to me right now? Protect you, pussy. You pussy. You know Canopy was about to crit. Oh, nice. Protect failed. Here comes this crit, motherfucker. Mm. 
my fucking gym, Dad. My fucking gym. You thought you were, you thought you could just run away from home, huh? You thought you could just go do cocaine and forget about your little kid? Get back and I beat your ass. You got rolled by one Pokemon. I got a full team of them, motherfucker. Eat my dick, Dad. Pussy.